can I use Twitter to, to gain more candidates and more clients? What would you say to those folks? Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, as you said, there are just so many different ways to market your business. And as, a, as an entrepreneur, I think you really need to say, I'm going to pick two or three and really master them very well. Because uh, what I've noticed in coaching entrepreneurs over the years is that I've seen a lot of folks who are just sometimes trying to do the newest and hottest in everything, right. and they end up doing nothing. <laughs> um, so um, to me, yes, Twitter is a viable tool. I've, I've used it both as a local entrepreneur. I owned a local service-based cleaning business out of New Jersey. You know, we had 50 plus employees, was doing seven figures um, in sales. Um, you know, it was a large franchise, and Twitter, accounted for over a hundred thousand dollars in annual revenues uh, for our business because we tracked everything and wow. um, we'll go through how I did that today but then you know a few years later in 2008 I started an office supply store and selling uh, cleaning supplies so we had multiple different domains um, but you know the company grew and within you know three years we were doing several million dollars um, in sales that's how I got interviewed by Tony Robbins um, it was a very humbling experience because him and um, Chet Holmes, the late Chet Holmes, oh, who I respect well, highly, yeah. um, tore apart my business, uh, which was great. In 2012, after I made Inks Magazines, uh, they came on and really went through the numbers and everything. It was a, a really a great experience. But uh, Twitter um, accounted for a tremendous amount of business. Why? We'll go through some of that. But we started doing a lot of social listening. So you know, I knew that if somebody was buying office supplies, obviously they'd be tweeting about Staples, Office Depot, Office Max, you know, some of the big boys out there. And so yeah. what we did is we, you know, used Twitter advanced search and we listened to conversations. So we would hear people who were actually, you know, in the store complaining about, you know, lack of customer service, questions about products. And so our team would jump in, um, answer the question in a non creepy way because, you know, um, that, that kind of back then and I think still today creeps some people out. But yeah. If you do it in a you know in a, in a helping way, I mean, I remember there was a guy. My largest order ever that came in um, from one a one time order was twenty seven thousand dollars. And how we did that was we heard somebody in the um, Staples that was um, you know they were on Twitter and just complaining that they were getting terrible service. They were there to buy office equipment for a new office and they had questions and nobody in the store could help them out. So you know. I was actually manning the, the Twitter that day, not any of my employees, and I had jumped in and just said, hey, you know, happy to help you out. We sell that. We have a direct relationship with the manufacturer. Um, you know, message us or give us your phone number and, you know, we'll call, get your details, and we'll get you an answer. And a uh, person called um, us right away. Um, we got the answer within an hour, and by the end of the day, it was a $27,000 order. Um,